was really inspired by Amanda Eve Arts and their amazing tic-tac-toe boards, so I decided to try and tackle my own with this air dry clay. Uh, this clay was super duper dry, so I had to add like a ton of water to actually like make it pliable, but I ended up just making the basic shape and adding the little lip around so it's actually a dish, and finally adding in the tic-tac-toe board uh, base. The actual pieces were pretty hard to film, but I decided to do the money bag and the furniture slash leaf icon because I feel like those were the easiest. Money bag was easy to just like press it down, but the leaves I had to like pinch and also like do the little cutout. Next time I would do this in polymer clay though, just to make it stronger. So I think I did like a little bit of an oopsie because, ignore her back there, because I made these with the intention of getting this video out like on Friday and like getting everything done on Thursday, but. Um, also, this is air dry clay, and this is like super thick. So I think I need to go like pop, pop it in, <laughs> in the oven for it to fully cure in time. So hopefully it doesn't crack. We'll see. I carefully did bake them at 200 degrees, very low and slow, no cracks. And then I needed to sand them. So um, sanding them was a process of love and labor, but basically just took it onto some sandpaper and made the little tic-tac-toe pieces really smooth, and then went back to the tic-tac-toe board and removed all of the harsh edges and lips that were on there. rough right now but I'm hoping that the paint will cover up most of these small imperfections. But first of course we need to seal it because it is air dry clay and if you introduce water back into it it will crack and break. I just used this crystal clear enamel and it worked pretty fine. Finally my favorite part of course is painting. Um, as you can see it's very hard to film this part but I just globbed on some green paint to the leaves, brown paint to the bags, and of course painted the apple base. I decided on apple because it is my sister's favorite fruit and it's also the easiest to do. I'm just lucky she didn't choose like something like cherries or something. That would have been like a nightmare. And here is the finished apple paint. I am quite happy with how it came out. And for the pieces, they were a little bit smaller and harder to paint, but worth. So I went to go remove these from their like little spray block and <laughs> oh my god, it is like my last day here. Why did this happen? I, all of the leaves pretty much like stuck to this block, which I was using as like a spray board for this stuff. Oh no. I only lost one of the money bags though, but the leaves, they all have some sort of breakage. Like I lost like the little nubs on this one. Oh, so annoying. Well, I guess I go back to painting them. So for my mom's, I decided to do a polymer clay uh, necklace and I was inspired by these earrings by Tazrim Kambazi. So I took my polymer clay and shaped it into that little shape. Um, honestly, this would have been a lot easier if I just got one of those like cookie cutter molds off Amazon, but um, I was determined not to spend that much money. Here's the shape I ended up with. Um, it's very dusty. Make sure you clean off your work surfaces when you're working with polymer clay. After it had baked and I had been sanded, I went ahead and added a couple base coats of navy blue. And this is where I had attempted to design and failed terribly but I ended up on this really pretty celestial sort of theme. I hit that with a matte finish because I really did like the matte view of it before adding it to its own little chain that I had made. So for my dad's Christmas gift, I decided simple is probably the best and nothing is more simple and great to give as a gift than a handmade blanket. And this fabric that I got from Joann's was like, Really cool, I really like this fabric, it's like a Sherpa, but uh, the design is also cool, so let's go make that. Blankets are super simple to make, all you have to do is lay down your base fabric and also your backing fabric, right sides together, so touch the patterns together. 
Then you're going to pin or clip all around the edge, making sure you mark a little hole so that you have an option to turn it inside out. And then you're going to just stitch all around the edge. Easy peasy. I use a zigzag stitch because this fabric has a little bit of stretch to it. This blanket is huge and took up my entire sewing table, but I'm really happy with how it came out. See the stitches right there. Next, you're gonna go ahead and reach your hand through that little hole you left and turn the entire thing inside out. This was a challenge because of the size, but just take your time, go slowly. If you break a stitch, no biggie. I decided to do a matching purple fleece shrug to the one that I had made for my Celestial Frost launch collection at Enchanted Moth Hollow because my grandma's favorite color is purple and my great aunt's favorite color is blue. But here's me realizing that I had just a little bit less lining than I actually needed. Anyways, another super easy sewing pattern to just sew the uh, sieve sleeve sleeve up and of course give the uh, cat a little pet. I didn't film me adding in the uh, lining, but basically you just do right sides together as normal and you're just going to sew them together and then add in that top stitch. Uh, for the sleeves, I went ahead and just folded them in. I should have bias bind them because as you'll see in this little try on section, uh, the sleeves are a little bit wonky. Um, yeah, definitely do bias binding because what is this? I hope my grandma doesn't regret me uh, getting her sewing machine. so much for watching this video and I honestly really love doing all of this. I've always wanted to make Christmas gifts for my family but I've never had like the time to so I just want to say thank you all all for supporting this channel and being around and I hope that you enjoyed and maybe got some inspiration for this year. <laughs> it's a little a little press of the, uh, the timeline or, or next year. Anyways if you like this video make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much. And extra special thank you to my patrons, Bulls and Brandon. Thank you all so much.